Welcome to Beyond the Horizon podcast, a show all about the Horizon ecosystem and the exciting world of blockchain and Web3. Join us as we explore the latest happenings in this rapidly evolving space and discover new horizons together. Now let's go Beyond the Horizon. Hey everyone, welcome back to Beyond the Horizon podcast. We have Owen from Spooky Swap here today. He is the head of their BD team and we're super excited to have him on. Before we hop into introductions, uh, just so everybody in the community knows, Spooky Swap is an all-in-one decentralized exchange, allowing users to swap tokens, manage liquidity, stake, bridge, and vote. Uh, so heading into that, thank you so much for joining us, Owen. Uh, could you please introduce yourself a little bit for the Horizon community? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, thanks for having me. So uh, as you said, I'm Owen uh, with Spooky Swap. Um, I'm head of their BD. Uh, head of RBD, but also I do a lot of operations, but I don't think I put that in my official title. Um, uh, yeah, so that that's who I am. I've been with them uh, not since launch, but soon after. And how long ago did Spooky Swap launch? Yeah, so we um, we launched in April of 2021 on the Phantom blockchain. We were one of the very first DEXs uh, on the chain. Um, so yeah, so and and I I started. A, by October, uh, October 2021. Wow, that's impressive. Uh, 2021, you're actually like pretty old in this space then. I know that two years doesn't seem that long, but in in this industry, it tends to be pretty, pretty OG almost. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, it, it does seem like forever, to be honest. Uh, it, it, during the bull run, it was uh, it was like we had no time to breathe. And then uh, this, uh, I guess, I guess, I mean, obviously it's a bear, I guess we've been running through, um, has been painfully long. It does seem like a very long time. It, yeah. Uh, after you go through your first bear market, everything feels just immediately longer. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Well, let's hop into the Q and a, uh, since I know the community is really excited for this partnership and we're really excited to welcome you to the Eon chain. Um, could you perhaps tell us just a little bit more about the Spooky Dex, the services you provide, and maybe any differentiators to the product? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so uh, Spooky Swap, as I said, uh, launched on Phantom in 2021, um, and we've really been just building building out our our ecosystem since then. Uh, I think we always were the different, uh, like our differentiator was just our UI. Our UI was just really clean. And I think we made it kind of, uh, we were focusing on having a, a web two experience in the web three space. I don't, I think I came up with that one. Um, and, and, and people just really liked it. I think our theme, our theme worked really well on the chain we were on. Um, and we always just really, uh, we delivered what we said we were going to deliver. We didn't overcommit anything. Um, and it was just a really nice, clean experience. I've met so many people that just loved using uh, using um, our product. And we never had any... Um, we kind of never pushed the limits on, on bringing out new products that weren't pretty battle-tested. So we were kind of considered a really safe product to use. That's kind of been our our story on Phantom. We, um, I think, for a long time we were a top five dex in uh, volume, uh, so we were really happy with that. We have typical products, like you said. We have our we have our dex. We have our form. We can do swaps. You can do bridging. Um, it's been a Uni V two. We were a Uni V two fork. Uh, I think we'll probably go into a roadmap here, but we will be having uh, our V three product here very soon. I would say. I don't know if imminent is the right word, but that's going to be coming out really soon as well. Incredible. Yeah, we will be talking about the roadmap in a little bit. I know you mentioned that the name Spooky Swap worked really well on Phantom Network, and I'm not sure if I'm able to ask you this or if you're able to, to confirm, but will you guys be continuing to keep that Spooky Swap name on the Eon chain? Uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're It's a brand. I mean, we have a branded product. Um, I've I've talked to so many people that, that trusted and liked our brand. So we have no intention to change that. We're going to continue to run as Spooky Swap. Our product was designed in a way that was kind of hard coded to Phantom. So it was quite a challenge for us to make it a multi-chain product, but we've we've succeeded in doing that 
and Eon will be the first chain that we'll be launching on. Amazing. I'm I'm personally really excited and I'm glad that you guys are keeping the Spooky Swap name. Uh, I'm personally a huge fan. Um, so glad to hear that uh, we will have the the tried and true Spooky Swap in, in the Eon network. So um, thank you for taking us through that. Our next question really was about the roadmap. Could you maybe take us a little bit further into what your plans are for the next couple quarters with Spooky? Uh, yeah. Uh, so we had an official roadmap, um, probably about a year and a half ago and we haven't released anything new. A big reason for that is just because there's been just so much, um, everything's been in flux with the kind of market we've had. Uh, so our focus has been on going multi-chain and making spooky a multi-chain product. Uh, and so this is, so this is certainly part of like our first step on, our new roadmap. Now we haven't released it, uh, but kind of general things you can probably expect from us is we will have a um, uh, Uni V3 product out very soon. And with that comes a bunch of additional products that, that work with Uni V3. Uh, we haven't decided exactly which one. So, so that's something you'll be seeing with that. I, I've got to be careful about what I say. I mean, there's a bunch of additional products that we plan to release, but we don't have them as a set timetable or roadmap. So for instance, you could be seeing from us um, perpetuals, uh, fiat onboarding, um, uh, what we're calling a uni V4 product, uh, a, a partner uh, product with Spooky that we'll probably be releasing. So th there, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of things that we have planned and we're rolling out. Uh, that are within, I would say, the two quarter timeline, but but we don't have it set in stone yet. So I've got to be careful about that. Um, but but it, we've really been held back. I want to I want to say that going multi chain was very difficult for us, just the way the way Spooky was designed. So that kind of held us back and and the way a lot of our plans. But now that that's complete, uh, we have a lot planned to roll out within a much faster time frame. Amazing. Uh, I can't wait to learn more about what you guys are calling the the Uniswap V2 version, uh, but I'll let you keep that to yourself while you guys are building out the product. So I know that a lot of people in the Phantom Network are already very familiar with Spooky Swap. I know a lot of people in the space are very familiar with Spooky Swap. For people who are kind of newer to DeFi, um, how can the community connect to the Spooky Swap Dex and use Eon? Uh, yeah, yeah. So our main our main URL right now is spooky.fi. So s p o o k y dot f i. Now we are going to have uh, if you go to spooky.fi, there'll be a chain selector for Eon. So you'll be able to um, to just basically select the chain, uh, and that'll be the same for any chains we we roll out from here on. Now we have a Telegram, we have a Discord, but right now we've we've during this. Um, basically just the market we've been in. We've directed all new users to go to our Discord. Um, we have a, a Twitter you can come check out for news. But we'll be we'll be rolling out most news on our Discord, and, and there will be a lot of exciting news uh, coming out with this launch. So you definitely want to follow. Uh, you, there's some things you won't, you won't want to miss, let's say. Um, so, so you'll be wanting to follow the news. Uh, I'm sure we'll be saying the same things on Twitter as well. So, Very exciting stuff. And for the people watching this, of course, we will link their socials below so that you can go ahead and give them a like and a follow. Um, and because I personally will also be following so I can stay on top of the news. Uh, it sounds like you guys have quite a bit in the works, especially kind of around this time frame. So I'm really excited to see what you guys are coming out with. Awesome. So my next question for you, um, why did you guys choose Eon? I know that you're just now going uh, multi-chain and Eon's going to be the first chain in addition to to Phantom that you're already on. But uh, what made you want to build on top of this this chain? Yeah, so so I think the timing worked out really well. We were we we were focusing on on going multi-chain and, and I met with um, I guess it was the Horizon Labs team. And I was just really, they were so passionate about this, this release. Um, and, 
and I, I, I mean, I like the technology behind it. Um, I like what the Horizon team was originally doing with their cryptography. Uh, and they were just so passionate about it, and they were so passionate about us as well. They they really, uh, I think a lot of their team had used Spooky Swap or really, uh, I mean, I keep saying passionate, but they they really were. They were just they were so committed to to what we had done as a product, and they really liked it. And and it was just it, it kind of paired up perfectly. You know, we were looking for we were looking for a chain that was really committed to helping their products. I, I think we had not received that where we, we had been in the past. And um, and and they seemed really uh, 100% making things work. They, they, they want their EVM to be very successful. Uh, we want to launch on successful chains. Amazing. Yeah, no, uh, I'm glad that you actually said that. Something that is very near and dear to our heart here at Horizon is making sure that the applications and developers that join the chain find success on Eon. So I appreciate that was something that uh, kind of struck a chord with you when you met with the team. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. You, you guys have been so supportive and uh, it's just, a, it, it's, been a, it's been a breath of fresh air for sure. <laughs> Amazing. I'm glad to hear that. Um, okay, so we are actually at our final question. Um, you guys have already given us so much cool news and we're so excited to have you, but is there anything else that you would like to share with the Horizon community that you've not already shared in this interview? Oh my. Um, uh, I, I, I think I would be repeating myself. I, I don't know if I can if I can say just yet what we have coming out but um but we're really excited about it we're really 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 excited about um some novel products we're coming out with uh as well as things people would be much more familiar with but that um uh they i mean we're an older product right we, we released in 2021 but at, with this launch on eon there are some great opportunities for people. So I think uh, just make sure and, and keep track of what's going on with our news. Um, and it will be soon. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Owen. We look forward to having you guys join us on chain. I know that we're we're uh, anticipating a deployment anytime now, um, or by the time this is actually released, I'm sure you guys will have already deployed, but we're so excited to continue working with you in the future. Awesome. Yeah, we love you guys. Thank you for joining us on Beyond the Horizon. Stay tuned for more exciting episodes as we continue to discover the limitless potential of the Horizon ecosystem. If you liked this episode, make sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Thank you, and we'll see you again next time.